morning guys Grayson and I are having kind of a lazy morning usually we try to get dressed kind of early and head out to the park but it's almost 10 30 and we're still in our pajamas Grayson's just a little bit sad this morning he must have pooped last night after I put him to bed and um, when I got him up this morning he was like walking funny and I could smell it and so when I went to change him the poop was like caked on like stuck on him like I had to really scrub it off his skin so I put some ointment on there and it seems to be do he seems to be doing a little better but he's a little yeah. whiny this morning yeah. so yeah. it is a whale so we're just taking it a little easy my mom visited yesterday and she they finally sold their house they've been selling it or it's on the market for four years now they finally sold it so she was going through some old books and she found like this one it's like a pop-up book of like different bible stories and then this like santa christmas one and then another one this one has like open the flaps and stuff super cute so i let grayson he wanted to take this book to bed last night like he always has a bunch of books in his bed to read but i was like no you're gonna destroy it so i let him have this book and this book instead well that was a bad choice because I went to go get him this morning and I found that book and it's just, he tore it all up. I haven't even like looked in here, but yeah, it's all of the flaps are torn. It's totally, told like this one's torn through the page. We don't destroy our books. I swear I can't give him any books in his crib because he just destroys them. I mean, he tore every single flap out. So I'm going to have to throw that book away after you just got it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing with today. I need to clean up his crib because he decided to make a mess. Today is exciting. I have my 37-week doctor's appointment later on. My brother is actually going to come and watch Grayson for me. Um, it's just like a family affair. I've had my mom watch him, Anthony's watched him, Allison's watched him a couple times. Now I'm having my brother Philip come and watch him. Allison went back to school, so she is working right, and cannot Baba. watch him. That's right, Baba. That's right, Baba. But Philip works in the Baba. restaurants with my dad, Baba. and so he always has Monday and Tuesdays Baba. off of work. And so since he has to work on the weekends, he gets Mondays and Tuesdays off. So I know to always make my appointments on either Mondays or Tuesdays so that if no one else in my family can watch Grayson, Philip can, and that's the case today. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm not sure if she's gonna check me to see if I'm dilated at all. I've been feeling a little crampy like here and there, so I'm just wondering if anything's happening or not. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but I'm just a little annoyed with Grayson this morning for tearing up his book. That's right, Baba. Bahuts. Bahuts. We brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. But mommy brush our teeth. But mommy brushing our teeth. It's so hard. It'll hurt. I never wanna cry. New tooth, new toothbrush. New toothbrush. Cute. Cute. He quotes YouTube videos all the time, and I don't know what he's saying half the time. Look at my toothbrush. He what's up? Yeah. He what's up? He what's up? Hey guys. Um, so I just finished my 37 week doctor's appointment, so I just wanted to tell you about it while I'm literally sitting in the parking lot. So I went into my appointment. Um, there actually was somebody in the waiting room. Usually it's dead, so that was different. And I checked in, I went and left a urine sample and they did not catch me. That was my goal was to be so fast that I would get back into the waiting room because every time they catch me before I have to go back to the waiting room. So <laughs> I was able to go back to the waiting room. I sat down and literally as soon as I sat down in the chair, the nurse called my name. <laughs> so I beat them, but barely, but anyway. They took my weight and blood pressure. Um, I think I'm measuring like 26, 27 pounds now. I was weighing like 151 with my clothes on and shoes and everything else. But I'm, on, I think I'm under 
150 naked, which is what I do at home. Anyway, then they took my blood pressure and I was a little nervous about it, but this was probably the best blood pressure reading I've had like all pregnancy, all two pregnancies combined. It was like 110 over 63 or something like I was shocked it was so low. I usually can only do like 125 is usually and then like the second one is usually like 80s range. So this was like out of nowhere looking great. So I was super pumped about that. Um, went and saw my doctor. I had to get undressed and um, she measured my belly and my belly is actually measuring like 37 and a half. So I'm measuring a little bit ahead because um, technically tomorrow I will be 37 weeks. So I'm not yeah 37 weeks so i'm measuring a little bit ahead um found the heartbeat and she it was like 142 143 which usually it's in the 150 so it was a little lower today he must have just been resting i mean he's not moving that much right now anyway um and she said the heartbeat is like a good three inches below my belly button like she can tell he is low they had to do another group b strap test on me um, when I asked, they just said that my results were inconclusive and so they had to do another one, which was weird. So they did that one again, which was not fun. And then she asked to check my cervix. So I was like, sure, because I was, I'm really uh, curious about it. And if you would have asked me before this appointment, I would have said I could be dilated, maybe a one or two. I just feel like this pregnancy feels different and he's low and I've been feeling Braxton Hicks here and there when I didn't with Grayson. So I thought I would be something. And she checked me and she said, yes, his head is definitely low. She doesn't think he's going to get any lower than what he is. But she said, I am not dilated at all. Like not even the slightest. I was shocked. In fact, I was so closed off that she was like, yeah, you know, usually we have you know, we check your cervix every week, but I don't really think there's gonna be any change from this week to next week, so you don't even need to get undressed at your next appointment. And I was like, okay, <laughs> which is good. Like, I don't want any unnecessary cervix checks. If you talk to some women, they say that they're not even necessary um, because they could bring infection to the cervix, different things like that, and it's uncomfortable, you know? So I was just shocked, but yeah, so everything was good. Um, I didn't, I waited like literally like two minutes in my room, maybe not even that. And my doctor came in. That office is so fast. I love my practice. So yeah, everything went good. I made an appointment for a week from today. Next Tuesday, I'll be 38 weeks and we'll go from there. So I just want to keep you updated. So my mom brought this book, like I mentioned earlier, for Grayson yesterday. And he is so obsessed with it, he has brought it into the bathroom, and he tried to bring it into the bathtub with him. I told him he's not allowed to do that. You need help. He likes it because if you pull on it and push on it, like the lion's tongue move and stuff, it's hard to do it one-handed, but... Yeah, he's obsessed.